Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So in my last video, I posted a short video about making drawers. I was making drawers for my workbench. This video is about the workbench. So I'm gonna show you a quick little montage of me actually making it, and then I'll uh, probably cut over into Fusion 360, show you the design, then we'll wrap it up. So let's go ahead and get on with it. Okay, so here we are in Fusion 360. This is the workbench that I designed. In large part, I mirrored the design. I will give you a couple of notable changes that had to happen through the process of actually building it. And it's more my fault, <laughs> not necessarily the design's fault. So a uh, real quick, uh, a bunch of different components here. Uh, I can turn the drawers on and off here, uh, the shelves as well. 
and then uh, what I, I'm calling equipment here, which is really just these power strips, which I'm still on the fence about adding the power strips. But real quick, let's go through the frame. Okay, so this is the, um, I don't know what you want to call it, the shell, uh, the frame. Uh, you can see here, it is nothing more than a series of boxes here, which is the top box and the bottom box with some vertical supports and some horizontal uh, supports as well. Uh, you can see here there's a little gap here. I'll turn it on. This is the bottom. Let's see bottom. Um, the bottom actually attaches onto the, the vertical stringers here, runners, attach onto the bottom of the, uh, the shelf. So the shelf, uh, the bottom shelf is one long platform. Um, I did that so that I wouldn't have to cut this down into multiple pieces and trying to shimmy it into place. Uh, it, it actually worked out very well, but it actually caused a problem in the end because this, I modeled this at three quarters inch for the thickness of the plywood. The plywood's not actually three quarters of an inch, uh, which caused these boards. I pre-cut everything in advance um, and these boards were the wrong height. <laughs> um, I screwed that up because the plywood was actually closer to 0.7 rather than 0.75. And when I attached the legs, uh, if anyone noticed in the montage, um, I put the, the top box right up to the top here, which ate up another three quarters of an inch-ish. So I was, actually, uh, I was actually off by almost an entire inch here. Um, so it turns out that the, these stringers, or runners, whatever you want to call them, are uh, about the right height. Uh, if you make all the mistakes that I made. <laughs> so they fit perfectly and I just had to go buy a couple more two by fours and cut the cut the links. So lesson learned to the wise. Um, don't cut all the boards until you measure the thickness of your plywood uh, precisely. And if you want this inset here, then um, well, put it in. Don't do what I did, which is not put it in. Now I do want to show one thing that I screwed up in the design, which was uh, because I dutifully followed the dimensions of the design, not thinking uh, it did cause a problem in the end. You will see here, if you look very closely, the gap between here and here is different than the gap between here and here. I don't know what I was thinking at all, um, but uh, if here, I'll show it to you. I'll do a little uh, inspection here. So you can see 21.75 is that dimension and uh, this should be 22 and a half, if I remember properly, 22 and a half. I don't know what I was thinking. I had a brain fart or something. Uh, I don't know, this thing needs to be over by half an inch. I put the whole thing together um, this way. So I'm gonna have to shim out when I actually make these, uh, when I install the drawers in the actual unit, I'll have to shim this out by half an inch. It's a little heavy. Uh, I did put an extra set of casters here in the middle to support the center, but other than that, it works very well. Uh, like I said, it's a little difficult to move around. It is eight feet long, uh, but it's actually exactly what I was looking for. Now, one thing I might change in the future, um, I haven't put the drawers in yet. I have made them, but I haven't put them in. Last video, I showed how to make the drawers. Haven't installed them yet. All the parts and pieces haven't come. I might put an extra uh, three quarter inch plywood on top to give a little extra um, uh, stability on the top. Uh, I haven't found any issues yet. I've, I haven't used it that much though. So um, it's actually been cluttered with everything that used to be on the old bench. All right. Hey, I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. If you don't, you know what the heck, give me a thumbs up anyway. If you want to see more content like that, please leave comments and questions down below. It really helps the channel when you all post your comments and we get interactive dialogue going on. Um, please don't forget to subscribe if you like it. If you don't like the content, I would really appreciate a comment down below why you didn't like it. Otherwise, have a great night. Don't forget to be inspired.